you know, transported through school facilities. Majority of them are transported through either private management or through city buses. I mean, I have been told, uh, and we have representatives from civil society organization, Dr. Kantanu Das is there. Uh, he is dealing with various health issues in school children. And I have talked to many people and I am told only 15% around students, they take the yellow buses, which we are now, we are actually pointing towards yellow buses. But we need to go beyond yellow buses. What I am talking about, the most of the children are, even in my case, when I sent my children to school, it was initially not through, you know, school buses, it was through a small, you know, school van, which are privately there owned. And thirdly, majority of them use public buses. So I would urge you, sir, to go beyond yellow buses, to go beyond school buses, and we need to have a general security architecture. We need to have a general school security architecture, keeping in mind the school buses on the one hand, on the other hand, the other transportation, because they are also there. We cannot for sure tell that it is only in buses that this kind of problems occur. By and large, I am sure and I have seen that most of the buses take care of children. And those are the parameters are abide by. I mean, those are basically observed by the buses. So my request to you is that we need to go beyond the school prescribed buses and we need to also somehow transport department is there. Perhaps city buses should also be equipped and empowered to take care of children in much more better way than what we are having today. And conclusively, I am coming to the policy part. These issues of ensuring security and safety of the children is not just the concern of education department. As is reflected today, we have our representatives from police department, transport department. So this needs to be done in you know, tandem, in tandem with various departments and stakeholders. But the question is that uh, right now policy wise, we need to be much more you know, uh, comprehensive in terms of our dealing with the private schools. Because I believe there is a gap between the school authorities, the schools and the government mechanism. We need to bridge that gap between the government policy side and with the private schools and other schools. For that, I believe the NEP, New Education Policy, talks about a new institution. And that institution is known as Triple SA. Triple SA is State School Standard Authority. Now, this state school standard authority empowers the government, not only government, also civil society bodies to come together and to prescribe not only safety measures, but also to look into the auditing exercise, affiliation, standardization, fees, accountability, transparency, etc. So I believe in the days to come, this institution called Triple SA, State School Standard Authority, will be a very comprehensive institution that will be in a position to look into the various measures of school education, irrespective of whether they are public school, irrespective of whether they are private or philanthropic school. So we are going to be very strict on that. In fact, I am the chairperson of the Triple SA. We are trying to pass the bill in the assembly. I think it will come very soon. And that's how here in Triple SA, we'll solicit your help, NCPC here, your counterpart in Assam, the police department, the transport department. I believe is with this kind of stakeholdership, the safety of the children in Assam will be ensured. Once again, my profound gratitude and thanks for having organized this program in the state of Assam in collaboration with Education Department. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for the valuable guidance.